All right, people, we're back. I got a new battery, some water, a cliff bar. I put what I had found so far in the vehicle. And now I decided to just sit in the stream here and cool off. Because it's uh, about 5.30 and it's probably still somewhere between 90 and 95 degrees out. And right where I'm sitting, it's kind of a mixing zone between the, the warm creek water over here and the cold creek water over here originating from the Torque Spring Run. The middle is kind of a mixing zone. Sometimes you get a blast of cold water, sometimes you get a blast of, of warm water. And in general, just moving my hand back and forth, up and down, you know, the cold water is going to be on the bottom and the warmer water is going to want to stay on top. And that's exactly what I'm kind of feeling right now. Let's head downstream. Keep our eyes open. So far, no fossils. All right, we got something there. Looks like another piece of a... Yep. Another piece of powder. That we'll examine that later. Do a full forensic analysis. <laughs> I just saw a huge something, a huge, I don't know what it was. Some type of fish. And right by my leg, right here. Where'd he go? Problem is, all that crap I kicked loose is now coming down and I can't see anything. Man, he was, he was big. I mean, he was probably at least two feet long. I mean, I guess it was a trout. Of course, maybe two feet. I mean, maybe that's an exaggeration. He looked big. Where did he go? Okay, sorry, things are starting to clear up now. Where'd that sucker go? All right, I gave up on the fish. Oh, look. Right there, there's a rabbit. A bee. Oh, look, he went in. Okay. That's that's the entrance to Marl Cave number one. That's that's the cave I was in in that episode. And I just saw a big honk and jackrabbit. He's right up there. I can see him. I wonder if he's, he's probably uses his at home. So that's the cave right there. And because I, I remember this, but check this out. And I remember a little bit up here in that episode, I also found a spring, which was right over there, I think. But down here at creek level, the last time I wasn't uh, I wasn't in the creek like this. I mean, I'm standing two, three feet. It get deep. It's getting deep out here. But there's actually a spring coming right out here that I could not see last time. And there's a bunch of crap in the in the river or in the creek here too. See, look at these big chunks of the moral. Now it's getting a little mucky here, but that's not because of the spring here. Here, let's get, let's get this muck out of here. That's significantly bigger than the, the one we saw last time. And this is not the same one. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and that water is ice. Yeah, that water, that that's significantly colder than even the stuff coming out of a, out of the tort. Again, there's, here you can probably see it better. There's the entrance right there. It's big iron, I don't know what that is, okay. And this is probably all mucky here. Yeah, look at that. Here's the spring. This time I actually have a shovel. And we can do a proper job of excavating this to get an idea of how much water is coming out of here. So, as part of what I was talking about earlier about how I think the caves are forming along this part of the creek, as the water gets pushed back in, when the, when, the, when the creek is high, it goes back into the bedrock and what it, uh, one of the effects that's gonna have is gonna cool off. And then when the creek goes down, the, the water's gonna flow back out and it's gonna be cold. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what's happening here. This could be a uh, spring coming up out of uh, something else. This could be a different situation, but this water is definitely absolute brown ground temperature probably 55 I should, I should probably bring a thermometer <clears throat> this is just all 
marl. Oh, hey, look at that. What's that? Is that a, a fossilized tree branch? What the heck is that? You see that? Wow. Hey, look at that. It's coming out. It starts there, and it goes the whole way over to there. Because there's that, the guy who's fishing. I should tell him what I saw. I figured this would probably be a good place to look for fossils. And I think I may have found one. It's of a leaf. I don't know. It's not super clear. Right where my thumb is, you might, it probably you're not gonna be able to see it. But right here, there's a whole cluster of what looks like organic debris that was like caught up in the uh, in the muck. But I can clearly see the veins of a leaf right there. And then right here, you can see the shape of a leaf, like a, a leaf folded around itself. And then right here are those veins. Whatever I find in terms of the uh, fossils. I'll take a, uh, I'll take better pictures of. Oh yeah, that's definitely a leaf. Pull this out. It's all busted up though. I don't know what that is. There's a humongous muskie lurking around here. It's probably the one, he saw it over there. He's right next to it. I think he, uh, it's probably the one that I saw. See if we can find anything here. Oh, that's another one of these. Now I don't know what this is. Is this a fossilized branch or is this just a partially dissolved piece of chunk of a stalactite? I don't know. You see that? It's quite a bit of water. Now watch this. Watch when I do this. This whole thing here is all just gunk. Look at that. It's all just, it's all very loose, gunky fill. What the hell is this? Look at this. Oh, that's actually glass. It doesn't look very old, but it is a, it is in one piece. Okay, I'm gonna break. It has little, uh, it has a little flower etchings on it. Huh. Okay, well, I'll keep that. I found a couple more, uh, minor kind of things that uh I could see some traces of wood and whatnot but they weren't they weren't that impressive it's great it's a great spot because you can just whatever you find you can just rinse off in this nice cold water there's a whole bunch of stuff in there too the secret is to find something that's situated flat so you can actually really get a good outline or a good imprint of the leaf. Oh, there we go. There's a leaf right there. I can totally see that, yeah. There it is, right there, you see that? You can see the main stem right there. Again, I can take all this stuff home and power wash it. it seems to be a pretty good spot. It's just plastic, moral chunks and bits and all kinds of crud in there, huh? Again, this is just really loose up in here. I wish I had a bigger shovel. There's some type of, there's something right back there. You see that circular thing there? And this piece right here, this piece is loose. If I can pull this thing out. That's 
swirling water though. Look at that right there. The clear intermixing. All right, well, uh, I think I'm pretty much done at this spot right here. Kind of warm myself out. Now that I've befouled this whole area. All right, let's continue on down a little bit. Maybe we can locate Marl Cave number two. It's supposed to be about 300 feet farther downstream. Water's getting deeper. right there. Oh wow, look at that. Look at the light over here. Jesus. Oh. There's another spring. Okay, we got a guy fishing right here now. This looks looking kind of cavey here to me. <laughs> got another little spring right there. Tiny little sucker. Here's another one right here. And this one's coming right out of this. See that right there? Look at that. So we got one there, one there. This one is a little bit bigger. This one's actually coming right out of the uh, out of this fissure here. Yeah, there it is. I gotta stick a something. <laughs> Fuck me. There's another one right there. Look at that one. They're everywhere. This one is actually bigger. You see it right down there? This one I can actually hear the running water. Coming down. Huh. Seems like it's all coming from underneath this part right here. There you go coming right out of the rock there. You can actually see the formations up there. Got some moisture in them. This little passage goes right up in there. Looks like you finally got one over there. Now we're getting a bigger outcropping here. Of this marl. I'm curious as to how far this marl goes down. Look at this. I think I just lost my flashlight. I just felt something go down. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it right there. Oh, God. I'm glad I felt it hit my leg. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't even have known. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Look at that. What I'd really like to see is a, a sizable spring coming out of this marl right next to the creek with a passage going off under there. You see that? It's really pretty here though. Look at that right there. Now that. That's a picture. All right, let's, let's take a peek up in here. Watch out for the glass or whatever. Oh wow. Man, it's just very undercut. I don't want to sit on a broken bottle though. That's the only thing. Oh wow, look at that up in there. Way undercut though. Does it go anywhere? It's hard to see. We gotta get up in there. Alright. So here I am. <laughs> and this is what I'm seeing here. It goes way back up in there. You see that? And you can see here. Yeah, stuff stuck is obvious. This floods. What I'm interested in is well, it looks like it ends up there. But there's all kinds of formations up there, and it's undercut. All right, so that's where that little undercut cave is. Let's just keep going down. 
see what we find. All right. I have found Marl Cave number two. Let's just go ahead and take a peek. I hope this isn't poison or whatever. Maybe there's some cold air coming out of this sucker. Yeah, this is definitely it. I, I've seen pictures. The brother muckers have pictures of it. Look at these, look at this flowstone. This is crazy stuff. Oh yeah, that's it. That's definitely it. Oh yeah, there's a nice breeze coming out of this one. See now. Oh yeah, there's a. So, I think it goes that way. Maybe 30, 30 feet, but there's a. There's a. Uh, there's a skylight right above there. I'm gonna extend this a little bit. Should go right the whole way to the surface. There it is. You see that? Oh, there we go. Yeah. There's okay. That's the surface. That's that skylight. And I think it goes off to the left, or maybe it goes to the right. I don't know. Whatever. It's very, very tight. Very small. There it goes. See him. Come on back, buddy. I was coming over here to look at this, this little pool here. And I heard, saw something move. There he is. And I looked down, there's a groundhog right there. And like I'm standing right here. And he's just like looking at me. And I, I, I don't think he saw me at first. And I wanted to get some close ups. It's like an ephemeral stream coming down here. So I went back to get my camera. And then he noticed me. And once he did that, he just took off. Yeah. He's up there somewhere. It's Puxatawney Phil. Puxatawney. Oh, there he is. Puxatawney escaped. Oh, there he is. Look, look, look. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, so... Judging by this little be like a little delta maybe or a little outwash area here i bet you there's probably a parking lot or a shopping center up there and the water is probably coming down but right there where the water comes down so i'm seeing a, a huge hole right there so uh you know what i'm thinking let's go check it out and we're still on the uh we're still on the morrow oh uh -oh. Yeah, it's nothing. I thought maybe it broke into something, you know, here. Oh yeah, there's a fence right there, is it? So this is obviously water coming down here, scouring this out. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That is, that's, that's pretty cool. See what I mean? This is that profuse, that's just another example of the profuse formations. And look at that, it's like that pillowy Kind of stuff here's another one right here so we're kind of like looking at the regolith the marl regolith here which is kind of interesting but here you can see that it's just compact and jumbled all right let's get back in there all right i just saw another big fish i really just want to get some footage of just one big fish, but by you know, the time you see them, they're gone. You know, you see them, boom, they're gone. I think I saw three or four today that were at least a couple feet long. So my battery's running out, sun's going down. I'm pretty tired. I think we had a great, great, great day here on the Ka'u No Dog Winnet Creek. Found that spring, located Marl Cave number two. Found a bunch of pottery shards. But one fossil, I would have liked to find more. To have found more but uh there's always next time i'm getting the feeling that the moral kind of tapers out here but i'm not sure i don't know how far it goes it just seems like the last of the big cliffs were right back there in that big deep undercut so i'll have to do a little more research but uh that could be the end of the moral maybe we'll try to follow it upstream next time right <laughs> i'm going to go head back up to the tort spring run, the falls. And I'm gonna rinse off in that nice, clean, fresh water.
before I go back to the car, okay? Because I'm kind of gunky and mucky and muddy, kind of digging around in those holes and whatnot. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on T-O-P-O -O underscore Ranger at Instagram. I didn't take too many pics today. My camera's in here. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not lying in a puddle of water, all right? As always, love having you guys along. Kono Dogmanet Creek at the Tort Spring Run Falls. It's a beautiful place, all right? This is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.